All right, guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the garage. I just got this delivered. This is the quiet, cool whole house fan for my house that I'm going to get installed today. Um, I want to give you guys a little bit of information on what this is, how it works, how to install it. I'm going to go through the full installation process. I'm, I'm installing this myself. I just got this. Uh, this is going to go up into my attic. You can kind of see a picture here. This fan sits in the attic. It draws cool air. As you open your windows, it's going to draw in cool air from the outside and exhaust all the hot air that's inside the house out to the attic, helping cool the attic down, and it's going to cool the house down. So I'm pretty excited about this. Um, I've been looking into one of these for the last year or so, and I think this is going to be a good solution for my house because I have these big vaulted ceilings that just get really hot. Air is just really stagnant and hot during the daytime. My attic stays really hot, so it's going to help cool the attic down, help cool the house down and then bring in all the fresh cool air from outside like the mornings and evening times. So I want to do just kind of an unboxing here. Uh, there's a few other things I'm going to need besides just the ordering this specifically. This one's the, the QC ES7000. It's the 7000 CFM. So that's like the, this is like the biggest one they make and sell. They have different sizes. So depending on how big your space is, you would get the one appropriate for yours. So this one's up good for up to like 3,400 square feet of of area that it's going to be drawing air from i've also ordered this is the wireless fan control kit so that way i can control this with a wireless switch and controller this will hook onto the mount the unit and then i'll have just a, a wall mounted switch that it will remotely work with this which will be great it can just has a timer to it and then i'm going to install a separate circuit for this my attic doesn't really have any outlets pre-installed, so I have to wire one. And that is probably the hardest part of this process, is just wiring a, an outlet. And I want to show you that process, so that way you kind of know exactly what I'm doing start to finish. So let's, let, let's get this unboxed, and then we'll kind of go through. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run the wire, get everything installed for the, uh, the new outlet. Homeowner's guide, and this is going to be probably our instructions. Here is our metal looks like our grill kind of the grate this is going to this is going to be the exposed size underneath the ceiling so it's just going to look like an air return it looks like this is all just one piece here this big vent will disconnect from this baffle here and then it's also connected to the fan that I can remove that so I'm just gonna get this whole this whole piece all comes out one everything's unboxed Here's our big insulated tube here. Here's our grill grate that's going to go up in the ceiling, our baffle box, and our fan. Now, this, these, there's clamps on the end of this tube here that just pop right off, and I was able to take it off both ends of that. So that was uh, pretty easy there. Uh, I want to plug the fan in, just kind of test it out. And then I'm gonna, I want to get the, the wireless installation wiring all set up before I get this up into the attic. So this has almost... It looks like it's almost a 15 foot cord. So I'm glad that it's got a nice length of cord here. So I'm just gonna plug this in. Outlet. So fan works, that thing is super powerful. I'm, uh, I'm impressed with that fan. Everyone that I've seen install this has always recommended this wireless fan control kit. Uh, I think it was just over $100 for this, but it has the hub and the switch. And what'll happen is I wire this. So this is, mine's the, ES7000 and it's going to do a two so it can do two speeds so all, all what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the power cord I'm just going to wire it up to the hub just like it's shown here and then I want to test everything out before I get it up in the attic I want to make sure everything's paired and tested and working remotely and wirelessly and then all, all, all I'll have to do when I get up in the attic is really just plug in the power cord into the outlet that I wire up there. So I've removed this junction box here. I have removed the, the ground screw out of that. And there's actually there's a grounding screw inside of here that I'm going to hook the, the ground from the, the motor and the power cord are just going to be grounded right on there. And then I'm just following the wire instructions. Uh, I'm not going to use the yellow wire because that's for the medium speed. This isn't wired for medium. It's just going to be high and low. So that's capped off. I'm going to connect, connect all three white wires together, all the black, all three black wires together. Blue is the blue to blue, that's going to be for high speed. The red to the red, that's going to be the low speed. Uh, the white. Okay, the box is all wired here. I have my two reds together, the two blues are together, the three whites are together, the three black wires are together. The yellow is capped off, we're not using yellow. Yellow is medium speed, we're not using that one. 
I have a little electrical tape around the nuts just to keep them a little secure, a little keep the dust and dirt out of them. So now I'm just going to fold this down, tuck the wires in, secure this down, and then I want to plug in the I want to plug in the fan and make sure that my wireless controller is working. If I need to pair it, I can pair it, I can test it. So I'm just going through the pairing process. I want to make sure that the uh, the wall switch, which is wireless, is going to pair to this. So I'm just going through the pairing process here. All right, the switch turned it on. Okay, I'm just ready to get up in the attic to install my outlet box here. So I have my outlet box. I'm just getting all the tools I would need to use when I get up there. So I've got my outlet box. I've got my 20 amp outlet. I've got some staples, NM staples, to help staple this to the rafters, the joists, the the wood up there, so it's not going to be a tripping hazard. And then I have an outlet. This is like an outdoor dust outlet cover for damp locations. I'm going to put that install install that over the outlet when I'm up there. And then just making sure I have all the tools ready. Now the outlet here, I just going through the instructions on the box of the outlet. I'm just I just have a note to myself when I'm up there. So on the outlet, this is a 20 amp outlet. There's silver screws and there's brass screws. The silver is going to the white. The brass screw is getting the hot wire, the black wire, and then the the bare wire is the copper that got the ground, and that just goes on this side of the outlet here. Getting up into this attic access up here, this is my bonus room up above here, so I'm going to be next to the bonus room here. I'm going to run the outlet somewhere up above here. I'm going to run the wire there, down this HVAC chute, down in the basement into my panel, and once I get the wire down in there, I'm going to put in a new breaker. Okay, guys, this is the section up above my bonus room that I'm going to have the vent, the fan blowing into. And I want to install my plug right into here. And then it's going to go back down there, hook into my panel. So I'm just going to wire up my plug right here, run my wire, staple it to these joists along the way. I have my outlet installed. It's nailed the stud here, I've wired the terminals, screwed this in. I just need to put on my weatherproof cover over this. All right, cover's on. I got my wire run all the way down through the uh, attic down here into my electrical room, and I've got my wire up here. I just ran it through the top of the panel, crimped it down, and I have the three wires. So this is a 120-volt circuit, so it's got the uh, ground, neutral, and power, or the hot wire. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be replacing it in this this breaker right here this breaker is a 20 amp breaker and what i'm going to replace it with is this double pole 20 amp breaker so this is going to allow me to have two circuits in the slot of one uh, one slot inside of the breaker here so i'll be able to just take this out put this one in replace the black wire here and then just hit the black wire uh, from my new outlet into the back of the breaker and then ground and then just terminate my neutral into the neutral bar and my ground into the the ground bar right there make sure it's off i'm just going to push back on it like that and i'm able to remove the breaker just going to loosen that up so the ground bar is this one right here and then the neutral one it's kind of in the shadow there but that's the neutral the, ne the neutral or the white wires that's where the neutrals are there's plenty there's a couple open spots there so i don't have any no problems there i'm just going to um, really in the panel here it's really just a matter of organizing the wires uh, my ground's going to go right in here there's no open spot but I, I can just double up I've got my neutral down my my ground is now grounded in the grounding bar and so the final step is just getting this wire here okay my existing wire is now in the top slot my new wire for my new circuit system, this bottom one. I just want to hold it just to make sure I get it tight. So I'm just going to tighten this down. I just want to wiggle it, make sure it's tight. All right, that circuit is now complete. Now that I have the neutral, the ground, and then now the hot wire grounded in there, we're all set. So I basically just turn a single pole breaker into a double pole, so that way I can double the amount of space in the in the panel. Okay, I found a spot between my joists here. This is my uh, cardboard template right here. I'm just cutting out the drywall. I have to do mine on the slope of my roof. 
because I can't do it sideways. I wanted to do it up here, but it's just not, the joists are not wide enough. So I think it'll just be fine right here. I'm gonna cut this out and start getting the equipment up here. All right, with the hole cut here, huh? I'm just doing this. I got the, the baffle box brought through and then now I can fit the fan up through here. Okay, now that I have the fan up here, I'm just getting it installed. I just put a couple of screws into the rafters here. I'm hanging it here. Uh, oh, it's hard to see. But it's gonna be blowing all the way down that cavity there, which is the highest part in the house. The hole is just right here. So the, the tube is just gonna connect there and then snake up here, hook onto the back of the fan. Okay, one of the hardest parts was getting the duct work up into the attic here. I had to use the attic access. I couldn't squeeze it between this cutout area. And then once I got up in the attic, trying to maneuver it to hook onto the back of this baffle box was hard because the baffle box is kind of an oblong shape, but the duct work is round. So you really have to stretch that uh, metal strap around the end of the duct work to get it to secure around that and then secured it around the, f the fan. I'm caulking around the baffle box and the drywall. There's a small gap there. I just want to secure that up. That's probably not necessary, but then I screwed the baffle box to the drywall and then to the joist on the inside and finally put the grill up. There's eight screws all around the edge of this grill and here's what it looks like when it's done. All right, guys, the quiet cool has been installed. I want to give you just kind of a uh, demo here. So I installed it on this slope part of my roof just because the rafters were all running this way. I couldn't, I wanted to install it right here, but it just wouldn't fit in that space right there. So I had to go here. I think it's going to be fine there. I also have, I have this room up here. This is above the garage. There's attic space above here. I wanted it, I wanted to be able to draw that air out of here. And then also down here in my like kitchen family room. So what I'm going to do, it's about evening time. I can open the, open up the couple of the windows here, here, and then a couple of the bedrooms in there. I can open up those windows and I can even open the window here because this, this room does get warm and turn on this quiet cool. And we'll show you just kind of how it works, how it sounds. It does. It is a little, little, uh, noisier than I thought it would be, but I also think that's because I didn't get the the fan's probably sitting like right up here. It's not that far away. That trunk's mo meant to insulate it, insulate the noise a little more. But just the way my rafters were, the joists and everything, I just, that was probably the only way I, where I could uh, install it right there. So, okay, so I'm about this far away. It's probably, I don't know, let's say 40, 50 feet. It has, this has a 100 foot transmission range. So I just, I push one button to wake it up. The high button comes on and then I push again. And when they blink, that confirms. So that now I have a one hour on on high. I can change the speed if I want from high to low with this. All right, I just kicked on. I'm gonna see if you can hear it. I'm just gonna be quiet and see if you can hear it for right now. I'm gonna get a little closer, see if you can hear it. I got my windows open. And you can tell this thing's moving some serious air. So window open, window open there. I got two of the bedroom ones and we got that one open. So it's really gonna help exhaust this on a warm summer day when the attic's hot, the house is hot, these vaulted ceilings get hot up here. This is gonna really help exhaust all that hot air out. So this is low speed. I just wanna see if you can hear just a slight fan fan when you're close to it and then when you're when I'm downstairs I can't really hear it just to give even on even on low speed if I I mean I've got a this thing sucks even a lot of air even on low speed okay so everything's installed uh, I'm really happy with this it's actually been a couple days and I've had a couple nights to test this out and I'm really impressed with how much air this moves just in a, just running it for an hour even, it just really exhausts all that hot air. So you might be thinking to yourself, why would you need something like this? What, what's the point of this? And I had those same questions and after looking into it, there's a, there's a handful of reasons. Quiet Cool gives a lot of these reasons on the website. But one thing I think is cool is that like, it cools down the attic. My attic gets extremely hot. I don't get a lot of like ventilation up there. And so my, my house just seems like it stays really hot. The attic is really hot. So if it cools down the attic and then it cools down the house by bringing in cool air into the house, uh, that just is going to help cool the house down quicker. 
longer. I'm not gonna run the AC as much, so I'm gonna save money on running the AC. And then one thing I think is really cool about this is it just, it's gonna bring in fresh air from outside. A lot of times the air quality inside the house is worse than outside. Just because the, the air quality just keeps getting re, re, recirculated, the air is just stagnant, it just keeps you know cooling, heating the same exact air, bringing in cool fresh air from outside, just gonna make have better air quality inside. So you can get odors, you can get uh, you know hot air out of your house, new fresh air brought in. So I think that's really cool. So I th I'm, I'm excited to use this over the next couple of months. I'll give you guys an updated video in two, three months after I've used it for kind of the summertime and see how it works and see if it saved me some money. I'm, I'm thinking it will because last night I didn't have to run my air conditioner at all during the night and it got up to 90 degrees during the day. And But the night times are still like mid, mid 60s, so 65 to 70 degrees at night. And so that cool air can be brought into the house and cool the house off instead of having to run the air conditioner. So there's some savings and some real benefits to this kind of system. So I'm glad I got it. Uh, guys, this isn't a paid promotion. Uh, Quiet Cool didn't send me this. I paid full price for this on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below. But feel free to leave your comments down below. My email will be down below. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'll also leave a link to all the products and supplies that I use to wire this and to get this installed. So check those out down below. Guys, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.